We're getting movies for The Flash, Batman and Superman's team up was revealed at Comic Con, Ant-Man is in the bag, the JLA is coming in 2017, and the cast of Guardians of the Galaxy got roaring approval in San Diego. But wait, we're missing somebody. A particular character with charisma, resolve, strength, wisdom, a badass Wakandan chieftain. I'm talking about T'Challa, the Black Panther. Folks, we still have plenty of time between now and Avengers 2. It's time to fast track the Black Panther into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I have three reasons why. I mean, of course I do. This is Will's War and I want your superhero movies to be awesome. The first reason we need to see Black Panther in his own movie is simple. It sets up his induction into the Avengers. We've already seen the Easter egg of Wakanda on a screen at the S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters in Iron Man 2. Also, Captain America's S.H.I.E.L.D. is made from vibranium, which is only found in Wakanda. We need to talk. If we play with the timeline a bit, T'Challa is just taking control of the Black Panther mantle. Next stop, a team up with the Avengers. He's truly an important and powerful member of the group. Yeah, go ahead, you're breaking my heart. The African hero is evenly matched with Iron Man, even in Tony's full red and gold glory. A guy in a vibranium mesh suit able to hang with the mighty Stark tech? Damn! Tell his story now, it only makes sense. He plugs right into the next installment of the Avengers, just as he should. Reason number two why the Black Panther needs his own story? Maybe. Just maybe he could be the link between the Avengers, the X-Men, and the Fantastic Four. Come, Black Panda! You remember that time when I mentioned that uh, competition was good? Competition is good! Sometimes cooperation is even better for studios and for fans. Fox has been sitting there watching Marvel Studios make all the money with Iron Man, the Hulk, Captain America, Thor, and the Avengers. It's time to make a deal with Marvel and get in on that sweet cash cow action, guys. The Black Panther on his ceremonial walkabout before taking control of the nation of Wakanda meets and eventually marries none other than Aurora Monroe, who would eventually become... Storm from the X-Men. In addition to this, one of the Black Panther's greatest storylines is his defeat of, and then eventual teaming up with, the Fantastic Four. Also, a bonus, Kraven the Hunter and Black Panther cross paths. Kraven is one of Spider-Man's greatest nemeses. Just saying, Sony, you can get the wall crawler in on this action too. Cooperation. It's what dreams are made of. No, no, Optimus, don't, don't, don't transform with Spider-Man inside of you. And my final reason, number three. Let me direct your attention to something. Come on, Marvel. It's turning into a bit of a joke at this point. That's what I'm talking about. Those are my three reasons why the Black Panther needs his own movie now. If you enjoyed the video, just remember, sharing is caring. And if you want to watch more Will's War, you can check out me begging for a Batman Beyond movie here or begging for an Incredibles 2 movie here. They're both equally full of begging. Lots of it. They're fun though.